This is the pogo pin tester for the ADB USB Wombat, uh, which is this board here. And what this tester does is it makes it possible to test a newly assembled Wombat quickly. Uh, so what you do is you just take your newly assembled board and you push it down onto this bed of nails on the tester and then it can quickly run a test routine. So the old method was uh, I would take this newly assembled board and I'd connect up my PIC programmer and I'd write the firmware. Then I'd connect up an ADB mouse over here and I would connect the whole thing to a PC and try wiggling the mouse and make sure that worked. Then I'd disconnect everything and I'd connect up a USB mouse and keyboard, connect the whole thing to an old Macintosh and try out the mouse and keyboard to make sure those worked. And it was slow. Uh, it's fine for if you're just doing, building a small number of pieces, but when you're building a whole lot of them, you really need a faster way of testing each one. And that's what this is all about. So on the tester board, you'll see there's a couple of ICs that enable on-the-fly switching of the Wombat's power input and uh, creating some external loopback circuits for testing the Wombat IOs. The nice thing about this tester is that I can leave it permanently set up and I don't have to be constantly plugging and unplugging cables. So I can just leave the PIC programmer permanently plugged in and a whole bunch of different mice over here that are permanently plugged in and I can just leave this on my desktop for whenever I need to do programming and testing of another Wombat. So to use the tester, I take my newly assembled board and I connect up one cable here. Then I just plunk it down on the bed of nails and lock it in place with these clamps. And click a button on my PC to write the firmware to the Wombat's microcontroller. And that takes a few seconds to happen. And as soon as that's done, you'll see one of the Wombat's LEDs will start blinking. Okay, that is there. You can see that blinking, that means it's ready to run the self-test. So I just press this button once. Now it's running the self-test. It's talking to those mice we saw connected to the tester board. And when the test passes, you'll see the LEDs pulse in this kind of glow pattern. That's it. Now I can take the board off the tester and it is ready to be packaged and sent off.